At some point in our lives we've all been there. Click the shutter to capture the moment without checking the settings beforehand. Well, in this video we're going to go through four quick tips to rescue that image. This shot here is a prime example of shutter first, think later. And as long as it's correctly focused, the rest is pretty easy to salvage. Step one is color balance. Getting this right will get you well on your way to creating a good edit. Here you want to adjust the temperature and tint until you get what you feel is a correct color temperature for the scene. Alternatively, you can use the color picker tool to select a white part of your shot to auto correct the white balance. Step two is the exposure. The next group of sliders will allow you to get the most balanced exposure. Start with the exposure slider and then work with the contrast to bring the depth into your shot. At this point you can either use the highlights, shadows, whites and black sliders to just make the final tonal adjustments. Step 3 is the exposure balancing. There are three tools in this section you can use depending on the type of photography you're doing. Either the radial, graduated or brush tool. Pick the right one for the job and make sure you're creating more depth in your image and balancing the exposure. Step four, finally crop and adjust your shot to how you want it to look. Now you can choose to do this first or last in your edit. So depending on your output for this, here you'll want to crop your shot and also apply lens and camera adjustments to correct any distortion and vignetting. So with these four key adjustments, you'll be well on the way to rescuing your image. If you want to find out about the tools in a little bit more detail, then make sure you check out the rest of the tips from Wex Photo Video.